a church-run food bank in Coalfield is expanding its ministry beyond Morgan County. And since the coronavirus epidemic began, dozens of new families started picking up food at the once-a-month giveaway. Well, WATE 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare returned to Coalfield today and explains now how the church will be able to serve more people. Well, Lori, the, the church now has a refrigerated unit that will be hauled behind the preacher's powerful pickup truck. You know, to most people, a 20-foot refrigerated box attached to a trailer would not be a big deal. But it's going to make a big difference to members of Coalfield Seventh-day Adventist Church as they broaden their ministry. The Reverend Lonnie Cook was proud to show us his church's new refrigerated trailer. It'll be used to transport food to people beyond Morgan County. Pretty big. 14 by 8 feet. Uh, it'll fit six pallets uh, on the floor. On those six pallets will be a lot of perishable food. The unit was driven from Coalfield to Jamestown, about an hour away, last Thursday, where nearly 6,000 pounds of dairy products went to the Fentress County Food Bank. This is a prayer answered. Um, we wanted to do more to help uh, with wholesome, healthy foods. And with this unit, it provides us uh, uh, ability to transport and store refrigerated products. A refrigerator is required when transporting perishable food. The 20-foot long unit was purchased secondhand from Second Harvest Food Bank. Donations coming from church members and others in the community. Back here, Lonnie Cook says his Seventh-day Adventist church food ministry started three years ago. On the third Friday of every month, bags of food are handed out by volunteers at Hope for the Hungry Feeding Mission. Qualified families from Morgan and Roan counties are eligible for free meals provided to the church by Second Harvest Food Bank. Since the pandemic began in March, the number of people needing food has increased. Last month, about 160 families received assistance. Today, inside the church's storage room, volunteer Danny Treese was busy bagging non-perishable food, getting it ready for September's giveaway. He says that mobile refrigerated unit will go a long way in meeting people's needs. Well, we can get a lot more food, get a lot more. We're going to get enough for uh, feed 160 people and give them quite a bit of meat products. And they, that's something that they're always asking about is meat products. There's going to be a concrete pad. Reverend Cook says construction stakes are in the ground, outlining concrete pads, making the distribution of food more convenient to families when they pull up in Coalfield. But now, once a month, the church's truck and trailer will travel to other communities like Jamestown. God said go into all the world, not just Coalfield. And as far as we can reach out, we want to help people. Now, when Hope for the Hungry started its food ministry just a few years ago, only a handful of people, and most of them from the small community of Coalfield, would stop by. But as the word spread, more and more seniors and those on fixed income started arriving. Then, of course, the pandemic began. As Reverend Cook told us, being able to expand their mission into more rural areas of East Tennessee is an answer to prayer. Lori? All right, Don, and if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or give him a call. His six on your side hotline is right there on your screen, 865-633-5974.